Hello, in this video we're going to do a problem to look at the optimal level of pollution reduction. The social marginal benefit of pollution reduction is given by the following equation. The firm's private marginal cost of pollution reduction is given by the following marginal cost equation. Q in this problem represents the quantity of pollution reduction. It doesn't represent the quantity of the firm's output. So Q is not the number of tons of steel that this firm is producing. It's a quantity of pollution being reduced. Assume the firm receives no private marginal benefit from reducing pollution, so the firm has no incentive to incur costs to reduce pollution. What is the optimal level of pollution reduction? So the goal is keep reducing pollution until the marginal benefit equals the private marginal cost. So we're going to just set these two equations equal to one another. The social marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. And we're going to solve for Q, adding 2Q to both sides, and then subtracting 9 from 120. And now dividing through by 3, we get an answer of 37. So 37 units of pollution should be re uh, removed. That is what is optimal. What per unit pollution tax could achieve the optimal amount of pollution reduction? The per unit tax should equal the marginal cost of the 37th unit of pollution reduction. So here's our marginal cost equation. I'm just going to evaluate that at 37, where Q equals 37, and we get marginal cost of $46. The government will tax a firm $46 for each unit of pollution. A firm will optimize by reducing pollution if it is less expensive to reduce a unit of pollution, that is, paying the marginal cost to reduce the unit of pollution, than paying a tax of $46 per unit. So for Q less than 37, it is less costly for the firm to reduce pollution than pay the tax. So the firm will voluntarily find it in its best interest to reduce 37 units of pollution. When Q equals exactly 37, the firm's cost of reducing pollution equals a tax. And finally, if reducing pollution beyond 37, uh, it doesn't make sense for the firm. It would just be cheaper for the firm to pay the tax. So paying the pollution tax is less expensive than removing, say, the 38th, 39th, 40th, 50 unit, 50th unit of pollution. So the firm won't remove more than 37 units of pollution. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.